that represents you somehow. So this is my example of um, a triangle with my name on it, and, um, and then some imagery on the back that represents me, hopefully someday, because that's supposed to be me on a surfboard getting barreled by a wave, which would be really fun, but I haven't done that yet. And on this side, I've got my name, the tops of the letters are acting like the wave as well, um, and I have a surfboard to represent the I in my name. So my clay has been sitting out about a day longer than yours because um, I needed to be a day, a day ahead of you uh, so that I could demonstrate, and then you guys are gonna continue with what I did. Uh, what I do today, you're gonna continue with tomorrow. So this is now, after the, the clay has had a chance to dry out a little bit, you can already tell how it's not as soft and floppy as yours was yesterday when you put it away, right? So it is, this is what's called leather hard because it looks more like and feels more like leather. Um, and then here's my other piece here. And I just need to start working on cutting out the rectangles and then um, going from the rectangles, then I'll show you how to attach them together. And from there, I will go to um, how to cut out your symbols, your letters, and then how to attach those. And then I'll stop because then everything is just repeating. And then you guys will have more time to plan out what you want to do. And then tomorrow you'll start doing what I'm doing today. All right, so to begin with, remember that we need three rectangles. And my word is explore, which is a relatively long word. So I need, I need some space for that. I can't have a short rectangle um, unless I want to be really challenged in getting it all in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use both my pieces of slab to get three rectangles that are a little bit bigger. Okay? And I'm going to use my stick to get the um, lines that I need, and I'm going to use a piece of paper to get the 90-degree angles that I need. So that's why I have this paper here. So I'm going to start with just drawing a straight line across a wide enough area on my slab so that I can get the rectangle the size that I need. So I'm just drawing. I'm not cutting. So I'm just going to draw this first line in. And there I have it right there. So for you guys out there in the audience, so I just drew the first line. Okay, it's just a straight line across the edge of the stick, or we'll call it a straight edge. Now, the thickness of these um, rectangles to build the triangle, I pretty much always have made them the same way. What I do is I take the stick, I move it down, keep it parallel with the line that I drew, and I give myself about a thumb's length, and that is about the distance. So it's about one and a half sticks um, Thick. And then what I do is, this part, I'm not, you know, I'm going to just make sure it looks parallel. If it looks parallel, it's going to be good enough. I'm not worried about making it exact. So that's my first, that's going to become my first rectangle here. And I'm going to continue here, and then I'll move down to this piece of slab. So what I did was, I drew a line, I moved it, moved the stick, and I made it about a thumb's length, and I made it look parallel, and then I drew the next line. So I'm gonna keep drawing parallel lines the same distance apart. So I'm lining it up, I'm gonna move it down about a thumb's length, and then keep it parallel, draw my next line. I have to start over again on the next slab, draw a line, move it down, keep it parallel about a thumb's length, draw the next line and I'll, I'll show this to you guys so you can see it so what I've done is I've drawn three sets of parallel lines here and then here and these are gonna become my rectangles now the most important part for getting a rectangle is getting those 90 degree angles I'm just eyeballing that they're parallel lines and I think they're pretty close but now you can see how I'm gonna use this piece of paper that I have. So I'm lining it up with the first line that I drew. I'm lining it up there. This is going to become my right angle that is going to go through the, or make 
make a line across all three. I need to move this over a little bit because I'm missing part of this rectangle. So I'm going to line it up. And then when I have it lined up, I'm going to draw it right along the edge. So here we go. What I'll do is I'll put this along the edge so that I can hold this better. So this is now my right angles. I'm going to redo this one because I don't think this is the same. I don't have these at the same angle. So. Okay. Do the same thing here to get right angles. So that's my right angle. That's the right angle. These are right angles here. Make sure I got that right. Okay. So those are my rectangles. Same width coming down here. Line this up. So I have three rectangles that are the same size. Do you see those? So it's a rectangle, rectangle, and a rectangle. They're all three the same size because I lined them all up together. And then, um, and then I used the paper to get my right angles. I'm just going to double check that I have this one on the same line, which I do. So they are the same size. So when I cut these three rectangles out, then I can build my triangle. Okay? All this space out here on the outside edges of things, even though I have lines, I can erase those lines just by dragging my fingernail over it because these outside spaces are going to be the pieces of clay that I'm going to use for my symbols and my letters. So I want to keep it um, as intact as possible. I don't want to mangle the outside pieces of clay around these rectangles. Does that make sense? Okay. So when I'm cutting off the outside edges, I want to be aware of that so that I can keep it, um, keep it as clean as possible. And I'm going to stack it up. And as I cut pieces off and stack them up, I will then put them in the plastic bag to keep them from drying out while I'm working. So I'm cutting off that edge. I'm going to work on one piece at a time. So for your notes, what are the things I needed? Okay, I need the straight edge, knife, piece of clay, board. Did you say something else? Paper. Paper. Um, and then your slabs. The knives are in the knife holder back there on the wall. So I'm going to cut off this large piece first to keep the biggest piece from um, getting cut up. I'm going to right down there, so this is a nice big piece. So I'm going to put everything on top of that. Just lining up my stick with my lines and cutting them off. So again, I'm making this look pretty easy. And when you start to work, you're probably going to have questions. So try and, um, you know, take notes and, and remember stuff as, as I go. Okay. So I've got my three even rectangles. You see those? So those are going to become, those are going to become my triangle. All right. And I did that by using the stick. Um, I made the, the, the rectangles like a stick and a thumb width, made parallel lines, and then used this to get 90 degrees to go down the side. All right. Um, now, 
I'm going to have to show you how to attach these things, but we're going to cut right now.